I'd like to uh, share with you, I have some news, some good news, but in saying that, um, this is the old people stand up channel as I have here. And this here is like, if I go to click on YouTube, this is what happens. I lost the channel last year, 10,000 subscribers. And, uh, I go to sign in, and this is what happens. You see that screen? It says it's been redirected, this message. That that won't let me in. I, I could go on and contact. That's one channel that we lost. We lost another one called People Stand Up CA, but it was no dot in it, uh, and uh, another 6,800 subscribers. Well, I'm not here to beat YouTube up, but here's what happened, what I'm here to talk about today. Well, that screen that I showed you, that's what would come up on the People Stand Up CA. We created this as a second channel. Uh, it's amazing. We got a dot. This was the last video we put up and nine months ago. And it now has 206,000 views, 662. As you come down and you see where it says we did this, this video here was by Linda. No war, not in my name. And this was a lot of us in Canada. We sent the message around and, and really worked hard to try to get her message out. And then... You, this one here, where it has to do with the trucker video. We went out and tried to get this video, helping the truckers of D.C. And after that, and I put up the Jehovah Witnesses video, Jehovah Witnesses cult exposed, bang. The whole channel is frozen. It's been frozen now for nine months. It's strange. I, I don't, and I, I wrote YouTube and wrote YouTube and I wrote YouTube and I wrote YouTube. And finally, just yesterday, they just gave it back. As you can see, when I got it back, look at it. It's all in good standing. Nothing happened. It was as if nothing ever went wrong. I don't know what it, what was all about. I, I don't even know why I lost it. But, hey, it's back, and I'm happy to see that. How we ended up on YouTube is that we had a website we put up. It's called, you know, the public trust has been portrayed. It's all about what happened to us. It's a real story. It's not, it, that letter was written by four people, practically actually five. Everything here was done as a group. We did the whole website. And we did it like from phones and everybody talked in the phones and we did it like over a big a seminar of, of us did this together. It was not done by one person and it was rightly so why we called it the people stand up. Because what else do you call when a group of people get together and join for a common cause? It's called people standing up. But what's interesting about this people stand up CA channel for nine months, it's got 661 subscribers, which I never ever don't even know how it got that. 250,000 views altogether. It has 80 some videos on it. It was just locked out and all of a sudden I get it back, which is great. I'm not growling about that. Family and I, we came to YouTube. If you look at it, it's like having a radio signal and you got the whole world and you know they're watching. My other friends and us, we're computer people. When we got attacked by these witness people uh, in our community, we had to go, they put us into poverty. We had to go and build computers out of junk. And we had to go to, we knew how to do all this. Thank God we were cobblers and we could, we could stand and fight. And we've lived seven years to tell this story. All we did is made people aware of what we can't do no more. For nine months, I've been off the internet. I've been a computer person all my life. I've been at it for over 20 years. And my, so was my friend and a few of us. What I'm trying to say to everybody is that what we learned by going away from the internet and after so many years of being on it, is that it really became real to us that there was going to be, the internet is a, is a great place like for a public court. It's a way to explain and you have to be like write the facts and we did. We wrote everything out that happened to us. It's like trying to tell everybody on the internet, try to explain to people when you're in a battle, when you're in a war, nothing on your head, they're stealing everything from you, everybody's in on it. What do you tell people? Um, for us, it was it was a matter of um, self-preservation. Uh, it was either us or them, and nobody would help us. And it was like we went to the Internet. We found a lot of people in the world. We got our message out. We can't do any more. We asked to make people aware of the evil, and we realized when we went out on the Internet that every – look, there's so many – there's a lot of good people in the world. But as we, what I've learned and what my family and I have all learned is that, as you notice, in Israel right now they're fighting. People don't kill each other. Good people – really don't folks it's evil that kills people I, we're all realizing here on people stand up we're not fighting flesh we're fighting evil and it's for it's pulled its damn eyes the wool over our eyes for for decades i mean we can't see what's there anymore we just see all kinds of stuff that the tv or the like one thing i want to talk a little bit about and i will make some more videos but the internet everyone thinks the internet is we all love it and it's great remember that 
video, the guy said, I'm mad as hell. The net works. I'm not going to take it anymore. And about, he talked about television and how it's a freak show and how it's the most awesome weapon. On, and it can take the presidents, prime ministers, and popes down. Well, think about it. The Internet is interacting with us. It's like a big machine that's, that's we're interacting. And it's, it's taking our data. They can read everything on the Internet. Everything. I know this from my own experience. Everything that you go to any website pings off your IP address. goes right back to your home. There's nothing you can hide. So we're out here for the whole world to see. We were attacked as a people, and we did this as people, and that's why it was rightly called the people stand up. We will not take it down because there's no, there's been no, no end to what happened to us. There's no closure. We, d we made our province, our people, aware of the situation that has grown over 80 years these people have been here. And they have grown deep in the roots of our province. And we know that this is the kind of thing, it's Trojans, and you can't see them, but they're there. And we know because they, we have the bruises, the bangs. We have, this is real. This is not some damn story we, we read out of a book or we're reporting to you. We're reporting our lives, what happened to us, how they hurt us, how they tried to destroy us, how they tried to wipe our way of life. These people and everybody they dragged into this, they dragged the political system here in Nova Scotia into it. They dra managed to drag all all sectors of anything to do with government. They wiped out our business. They wiped out our company. And we had a right to tell people. We told people the threat. If, if, look, I would hope that if something was going on in your community, that you would be the, have the guts to go out and tell somebody the truth. And we did. But the people would not listen. And it's so far-fetched because it's in Canada. And nothing like this happens in Canada, right? But it did. It happened to us. I have the bruises to prove it. I have the, the papers to prove it. But it doesn't matter. I understand now. The whole world is corrupted. It's from every town to every village, and it's like if each and every one of us would go back to our homes, go back inside yourself. You're not. I learned one thing. You're not going to get anything from this world. This world's got nothing to give me. It never did. It never will. And I realized by going back in myself, the old ways of what the older people that were wise men, like I would call a wise man Martin Luther King. I would call... Gandhi, a wise man. I would call Christ a wise teacher. And I would say to you that they taught about the living God within. And think about it. If it's inside you, you ain't got to pay for it. You ain't got to get no, give it no money. You ain't got to spin it. It's inside you. But it's hard to break down the old walls, the old garbage. And this is what the system is wanting us not to do. It wants us to look out. Look out in our eyes. See all these distractions, the political garbage. You know, what's going on here in Canada. I mean... You know, it's all about keeping us suffering and keeping us down. The whole system is built that way. The quicker that we realize that, I know myself, I know I'm born in slavery. But I happen to live in one of the best parts of the slave planet's zoo habitats. and happens to be Canada. And we have a big country. It's a cold country. It's a, it's a loving people here. And I, and I hope that Canada... The people of Canada do not let happen in Canada what happened in the rest of the world. They've lost their lands. We don't see it because we've got the ocean between us. But there's a lot between us. And all I say to everyone is that these people come over. They made their foreign invasion that came and, and, and infiltrated our community. We are just simple, common people that stood up and said, we will not take this. And that's all any of us have to do is stand up in your faith, do it with love, Respect. It's like we use the people stand up. We use music. We use truth. We use love. We used integrity, honesty, all the good stuff, you know? When, when this all happened, it didn't, none of us knew what to do. And all that came with those words, they were divine words. The public's trust has been betrayed. And from that day forward, this little ordeal that happened to us took us right on the world stage. And we realized the whole world. The resources of the world are controlled by owners, folks. But you've got to understand, there's no one particular group in charge. We got the, they got the Asian connection. you got the North American connection. you got the South American connection. you got the African connection. You, you know, it so many different groups and we've been like that tribes fighting each other all the way up through the ladder of civilization the only thing that i know that's going to change or save our world is the living god within and we have rejected it and we have done everything with our technology we're so far away from ourselves i look at my own little cat she purrs she's beautiful she's beautiful the way she is and it's like i look at the trees i look at the water i look at the sky everything is beautiful the way it is the way it was made to be except i look i look at the human race and we're the only thing that's screwed up out of that i come to realize that i'm part of that race and all i can do is remake myself i can't remake remake any of you i'm not here i don't expect any of you to help us i we never got any help all we got help from is the almighty itself and it really did help us it, it brought it showed us how to fight 
with love. Do not use violence. The more, like I, I've learned with evil, if you engage it or you fight it or you go after it, it gets all over you. And then it gets inside you and then it starts eating at you. And you're wondering, why am I so depressed? Why do I feel so miserable? Well, you eat and drink this stuff. That's what happens. And it's, I, don't, I know the only way I've found there is a way through this. It's the hope. It's through the living God within us. And that is what I found. That has been my experience, my mother's experience, my friend's experience on YouTube and coming on the internet and full out and, and searching for help. I say to you is that the people stand up, we'll keep on going. We told the truth. That's all we could do. You, we couldn't ask no more of what we did. We, we're not policemen. We're not here to arrest people, but we were here. We know what the internet is. We created a public court for everyone, for the world to see. A thousand causes that I could talk about on here. A thousand. And they're all good causes of women and children and people that need. But I know the only one I can fix is myself. And that, in turn, in doing that and remaking myself, then I might have a chance to help. My mother will tell you the same. I will tell you the same. My friends will tell you the same. Remake yourself. We were born complete and whole. They don't want us to know our own power. This is why, what, if I didn't learn anything, I learned about my own power. I learned how to use the internet effectively. It's a great weapon, but it's, it's got to work as collective. Everybody's got a different cause. There's poverty. There's shortages of food. There's, there's air quality being destroyed. There's oil crisis. There, I mean, guys, think about it. Everything is about We told the truth. We can't go any further with this, and we leave it at that. What else do you do? They made me angry, bitter, and mean, and my family. But over the time and the internet and learning people, and learning the truth about the world, it freed us. And we went and found the freedom within you. It's inside you. No one has the answers. Anyone that knows and tries to tell you that they know, don't know. And anyone that knows can't tell you. I say to you, go back to yourselves. Don't. The internet's got nothing for you. I mean, it's great to come out and protest, but remember, you got a real life to go to. And I mean, mo most of us, I've learned that you come home to your life. If your world inside you is intact in peace, the whole world will be at peace. I realize I'm walking in a hurricane, and I have to stay in the center, and that's the center of the eye, and walk through the madness. I want to be in the world. But I don't want to be in the world. I want to be of the world, but not of the world. And I don't want the world all over me and making me feel miserable and rotten because it's rotten. I know there's bad things going on. I can't do anything about it. But I can change myself. And each and every one of you can change yourself because that's the only way we're going to change humanity. We've got to change ourselves. We've got to have a transformation. It's like we're going to grow a new eye. Something major is going to happen on this planet. And it's not going to be from outside. It's going to come from within. Humanity's going to grow up. And maybe we can catch up to our technology from ourselves. Because right now we're acting as animals. And we're just fighting and bickering and hollering and screaming. And over what? We have to go back what the old people told us. And teach and go back to the ways of the lands. We're so far away from who we are as people. And out of that I leave you. And I, I love you all. And my old friends, if you find me and you find the people stand up and who we were. We've been on here a long time. Seven years this has all been going on. And uh, we leave it. We forgive these people. You may say, why do you forgive these people? Because by forgiving these people, we get our power back. And we can move on. And they are the ones stuck with the bullshit, not us. And we can't do any more as a people. We've done everything we can, and it's humanly possible. We leave it at that. And we hope and pray that this situation, uh, someday we'll have a conclusion. It's honest, common people trying to stand up in a world that doesn't want to hear us because we're not important enough. Well, we have been speaking loud enough. And we were just a bunch of people that got together and made a difference. And we went and told the truth. And I would hope that every one of you would do exactly what we did. Tell the truth and not let people hurt each other in this way. This was a terrible situation that happened to us. And people, this is a true story. This is not something fake. And I'm sad that we had to go this route to do it and bleed. And, and, and we were in the middle of a fight. You ever try telling a story in the middle of a fight? And not easy. And now it, it, it's not, we're not fighting. We claimed a lot of good has happened for us. And only through the Almighty that we were able to remake ourselves and come back in this world and love it in spite of what they did to us. We have overcome. If, you, if they can throw everything at you, and that's what they've been teaching us, like let them be violent. Let them throw things at you. Let them be pushy. But we don't show it. We show love. And that's how you kill this enemy. You kill it by love. Because the one thing that's given me some hope in this world that I'm not fighting flesh, I am fighting an evil in, in its presence in this planet because most people are good. Thanks for watching. Tony out. All my friends, you know, I hope you're still, some of you are still left on YouTube, but it's been a long time. I've been really upset with this whole thing and the experience of YouTube and I put so much work into it and, it, and it's just, wow. I'm happy to have the channel back. 
it's nice to have people stand up there, but I have no idea why I lost it, and I'm not going into a big spat about YouTube. Everybody knows the problems of YouTube, and, and we all know that this is owned by corporations, and what do I expect? I mean, come on. They are corporations. They own it, and they want to make money, and that's the way the world works.